Hello viewers, a gracious welcome to you all. This is a model of the 1000 megawatt nuclear power reactor and turbine. It's a product of the Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited, which is a unit of India's Department of Atomic Energy. The actual reactors are of pressurized water reactors, known as VVER, that is, Vodo Vodonai Energetichesky Reactor, and they have been built with the technical cooperation from the Russian Federation. While the nuclear reactors power your towns and villages, this model reactor will enlighten you about how that power is produced. In a typical power plant, first heat is produced. The heat then creates steam. The steam rotates the turbine and finally the generator connected with the turbine too rotates and produces electricity. A nuclear power plant too functions on this basis except the heat generation part. Actually, in a nuclear power plant, heat energy is produced by atomic fission process. This working model features two vital structures, the reactor building and the turbine building. It also sports some of the major components in these buildings. The real dome-shaped reactor building is of 70 meter tall and has a diameter of 52 meter. But its replica here is nine times smaller than the actual. Look at the center of the reactor building model. It is the heart of the nuclear reactor called as reactor pressure vessel or RPV. This is where the splitting of atoms and the fission chain reaction takes place. The RPV has 163 fuel assemblies loaded vertically. The VVER reactor uses slightly enriched uranium which is about 4% enriched uranium dioxide. The RPV is filled with light water which acts as a coolant and moderator. When a free neutron strikes the atom of uranium, it splits into two, during when heat energy is released and few more neutrons emerge. These neutrons split more atoms and thus the fission chain reaction continues. The light water that surrounds the fuel assemblies absorbs the heat energy and takes it to the steam generator. Now closely follow the water loops between the RPV and steam generators. The four reactor coolant pumps around the RPV circulate the water which transports the heat energy from RPV to steam generators that are placed above. Upon receiving the heat, the light water inside the steam generators starts boiling. As a result, a high pressure steam is produced. The steam then is taken from reactor building to the turbine building through steam pipes. Now shift your focus to the rectangular turbine building. Compared to the original, the turbine replica is 20 times smaller. Inside the turbine, you can find many major components. One high pressure turbine, three low pressure turbines and a generator, all connected through a single shaft. Remember, steam is produced by the steam generators in the reactor building and it is transferred to turbine building through pipelines. The high pressure steam that comes from steam generators impinges on the blades in the turbine and causes them to rotate. The generator which is connected with the turbine too rotates and generates electricity. The electricity is then supplied through the transmission lines for public use. That's all about the nuclear power production, but there is something more in the process. The steam after rotating the turbine is passed through the condenser, which condenses the steam and makes it as hot water. This hot water is fed back to the steam generators and this cycle continues. Okay, now it's time for us to understand the state of the art safety features and other important components. For that, please shift your focus back to the reactor building. 
The reactor building is actually a two containment structure. The circular wall outside, called outer containment, is a RCC structure of two feet thick. It protects the reactor from external threats. Likewise, the wall inside, called inner containment, is of four feet thick and made up of pre-stressed reinforced concrete. It not just protects the nuclear components, but also help contain radiation within the building. Between these walls, a gap of 2 meter is left. It is kept at negative pressure. Means, the pressure in this gap is lesser than that of the atmosphere. This makes sure that no radiation active particles goes from inside. belong to generation 3 plus category which has all modern day safety features. To ensure very safe operation and safe shutdown of the reactor, many active and passive safety systems are engineered in these nuclear power plants. Let us know about some of them. Look at control rods on the top of the fuel assemblies in the RPV. Normally, these rods are parked at ready position on the fuel assemblies. If needed, these rods can be dropped with the help of gravity force and once dropped, in the next 3 to 4 seconds, the reactor will shut down. That is, the fission chain reaction will be stopped. Just above the RPV, you may notice some huge tanks which contain boron mixed water. There are 12 such tanks and all in all, they have 12 lakh liters water. This is a backup cooling system. If any eventuality of loss of water in the reactor core happens, the water inside these tanks will flow to the core by gravity and ensure its cooling. There are 154 hydrogen recombiners installed inside the reactor building. If for any reason hydrogen accumulates inside the containment, these self-activating devices will convert it into water. On the top, you can see some heat exchangers and air ducts. It is called Passive Heat Removal System, which is capable of removing the decay heat in the reactor using atmospheric air. The best part of PHRS is that it doesn't require anyone to operate. No power supply is needed either. The bottommost component in the reactor building is the core catcher. It is exactly below the reactor vessel. In case of any improbable event like core melt, the core catcher will catch the molten fuels and metals and prevent it escaping to the environment. The reactors have many such passive safety systems that function automatically and many more active systems. The aim is to not just produce electricity, but to do it with utmost care. Before signing off, it is worth knowing about an interesting component that is fixed at the dome. It is the polar crane. Usually, cranes move either horizontally or vertically. But this polar crane is something different. It can rotate 360 degree and any corner of the circular reactor building can easily be accessed. The polar crane was of great help during the erection of the nuclear equipments. The operations in a nuclear plant are managed by highly qualified, well-trained and licensed operators. With proven science, superior technology, best workforce, highest safety standards and sophisticated safety systems, nuclear electricity is produced in KKNPP. Viewers, hope you have understood how nuclear electricity is produced and the modern safety system. Thanks for visiting.